Hello guys, today we are going to start off with the Cambridge O level uh, physics uh, paper that is alternate to practical and the variant for this is 5054-42. This paper is of May June 2021. Let's start off with uh, our question number one and see what is said. A student investigates how the potential difference V across the fixed resistor R changes as extra resistance is added to the circuit. She sets up the circuit shown in the figure 1.1. So over here we have a uh, circuit diagram in which we have a voltage, uh, potential volt uh, uh, difference or voltmeter, then there is a resistor, then we have a switch. This is your switch, this is your voltmeter, this is your resistor, this is your cell and this is the meter root and the wire okay she connects the crocodile clip c to the a point on the resistance wire at length equals to 20 centimeter at uh, from the end x she closes the switch she reads the voltmeter and records uh, the reading she opens the switch figure 1.1 shows the voltmeter reading okay and uh, question number one it states that read the voltmeter scale and in the table 1.1 on page number four record the potential difference v so if you see this thing so look at this this is 1 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 1.6 7 8 9 10 so yes this is 1.4 volts so we will be writing 1.4 volts over here in the next question calculate 1 over v and record this value in the table 1.1 on figure page 4 to the appropriate number of uh, significant figures so again what you are going to do is you do the reciprocal or 1 divided by 4 you will end up with 0 0.71 we will be writing into the next page as well let's see this okay so over here we are going to write down the potential difference which is 1.4 and 1 over v which is 0 0.71 here we are going to write it like this she repeats the procedure a using the value l equals to 30 centimeter 40 centimeter 60 centimeter and 80 centimeter her results are shown in the table 1.1 suggest why the student opens the switch between reading it can be possible that uh, the cell can be drained cell can be drained okay the, the voltage the potential difference in the cell is going to be finished or the resistor may get hot or you can say the wire is hot so she basically switches on and use the reading and then switches off and again do the same thing uh, abruptly or quickly so that the resistor may not get very hot or the wires may not get very hot okay and on the next question on the grid provided figure 1.1 or figure 1.3 on page 5 plot graph 1 over v on the y axis against l on the x axis start both axes from the origin okay now you have to plot this graph and i have already told you about this thing that uh, in the graphs you have to label the graphs perfectly and you have to make these uh, values on x axis like 10 20 30 40 so you have to see the data in order to make these graphs and over here the value is 1 over v and this is on y-axis okay so if you plot that data which is given in table 1.1 so you will be ending in in this type of a graph in which here uh, uh, the value on y-axis would be like on this and x-axis would be like this and you have to take the gradient so the gradient would be 20 comma 0 0.65 but there will be two points obviously point a and b uh, i'll write it down over here so if you take the gradient which is again y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 which is the next part of the question and the value of c which is y intercept is going to be like this okay so you will end up with this sort of a graph in this question 
So let's move to the previous question and uh, draw the best fit line. I have already told you how it's going to be like this. Calculate the gradient of the line showing, shown or working. Indicate the graph as value. So I have already, already told you this thing. So I will be writing out the, the values over here. So where our first point was A which is like 20 comma 0 0.65 and the other point was like uh, 70 comma 1.50 okay so now taking the gradient which is again y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 which is like 1.50 minus 0 0.65 divided by 70 minus 20 so you will be ending up with 0 0.17 and extend your line until it crosses y-axis this i have already done my the intercept c which is i have already told you this is 0 0.41 now putting the values in the question and you will be like one calculate uh, the electromotive force e of the cell using the equation e is equals to k over c where k is equals to one and one divided by 0 0.41 which is going to be 0 0.024 so volts and this is going to be your answer okay so just one practical reason uh, why despite carrying out experiment with care the student value of e may not be the true value because uh, the cells have internal resistance as well internal resistance that's why the values are different the results in table 1.1 shows that as the length L of the resistance wire increases, the potential difference V decreases states how the result shows that L is not inversely proportional to V. So basically what we can do is, in this question, we can basically multiply the values of L and V to see whether they are constant or not. So if you take the values from the previous table, so I have taken those values and this is going to be like 20 times 0 0.71 is going to be 14.2. Then again if you take the other values, so it's going to be 80 times 1.3. Again you see the value is like 10.4. So the product of product of L and V is not constant so this is how you can prove that thing the values are constant or not a student may use the acceleration of the trolley rolling down a ramp he makes the ramp by using a wooden plank resting one end of the plank on a bench and using the standard using a stand and a clamp to support the other end he draws a line a b across the ramp near the top he draws another line cd parallel to ab at a distance d equals to 120 centimeter we will underline these values uh, further down the ramp he adjusts the height of the top of the ramp above the bench by moving the clamp until the ramp makes an angle of 30 degrees he places a trolley on a ramp so that the front wheel of the trolley touches ab he sets up the experiment like this, apparatus like this, and suggests a measuring device that the student uses to ensure that A, B, and C, D are 120 cm apart. So you can easily use measuring tape because the length is bigger than 100 cm. So we cannot use uh, meter root. The ramp makes an angle of 30 degree with the bench. So how you are going to do it with the protector? Measure the angle of that will be 30 degree. And the student releases the trolley at the same time starts the stopwatch. He stops the stopwatch when the trolley has a traveled 120 cm down the ramp. He replaces the trolley at the top of the ramp with the front wheel touching A, B and repeats the procedure twice. The type T for the trolley travels at a state uh, show the state suggests one reason why there is a large variation in these times. And so it can be like uh, trolleys, uh, the trolley may not be aligned.
or la or you can say level with and so basically what is happening the angle might be different or it's not aligned or level with the floor or with the end line Figure 2.2 is a side view of arrangement with the trolley at the start position. On figure 2.2, draw the position of the trolley when it has traveled 120 cm. So you have to draw the uh, trolley when it is at 120 cm. So you will be like doing this. It's going to be like this. So make sure the wheels are touching to the points, okay? So this is going to be done. Calculate the average time for the trolley to travel the distance this so it's given in the previous uh, example uh, previous question and that is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.81 plus 0 0.95 and you divide it by 3 you will end up with 0 0.282 seconds so basically these values are given over here so you can see this okay so 0 0.82 seconds will be your answer okay calculate the acceleration of a trolley uh, down the ramp using equation this and give it give your units as well so let's do put the values which is 2 times d is 120 times t average which is 0 0.82 square and this is going to be 356.9 which is going to be 360 so this is going to be your final answer centimeter per second square suggest how the student could modify this experiment so that a more accurate value of the acceleration of the trolley is obtained so uh, we can use this we can use the uh, value of d greater than 120 centimeter so if you increase the distance so obviously you will be getting a better idea and better results a student measures the focal length f of a convex lens she sets up the apparatus as shown in the figure in 3.1 so there's a lamp illuminating objects, then the convex lens and on the screen. So the illuminated object is in the shape of an equilateral triangle as shown in the figure 3.2. The object is drawn full size. Okay. She switches on the lamp and places the lens uh, a distance u, which is 20 centimeters from the illuminated object. She adjusts the position of the screen by using by moving it slowly backward and forward until the sharp image of the illuminated object is formed or this. The image obtained on the screen is like this. So what's the first question and it says state two difference between the object and the image. So first of all you can see that the image created or the or image obtained on the screen that is inverted and the second one is this that is, is magnified. So you can see the image which is bigger than that. Measure the height h naught. So again you measure it. So it's going to be 0 0.9 centimeter. Again the word measure. So if measure the height of the image which is 2.6 centimeter. Calculate the magnification which is h i over h naught 2.6 divided by 0 0.9 which is going to be 2.9. So your answer will be 2.9 over here. Then calculate the focal length of the this. Uh, now you have to put the values. So you see uh, M is 2.9. U is given in the question which is 21 plus 2.9. So if you do the calculation which is going to be 14.9 centimeter is your final answer. Okay students use this a plot uh, uses a plotting compass to plot the pattern of the magnetic field around the straight wire that is carrying a current the student sets up a circuit as shown in figure 4.1 
the wire is arranged vertically and it passes through the middle of the horizontal rectangular card. Describe how the student uses the plotting compass to plot the pattern of the magnif magnetic field when the switch is in the circuit is closed. You may add to the figure 4.1 to help you ex help you explain your answer if you wish. Okay, so this is basically uh, you have to write certain things which I will be writing over here to basically you have to uh, draw the uh, pattern of the magnetic field around a uh, wire which is uh, passing current or uh, a wire with through which a current is passing through okay basically what you need to do is you have to I have explained the wordings over here you can read it uh, by pausing the videos so I'll let you know how uh, this is going to be done okay so basically there will be a magnetic field around this point okay so if you place the compass over here so there will be uh, the direction of the needle will be like this okay so what you are going to do is you put a dot over here then you put another dot now you change the position of the compass over here and again you will put a dot and similarly in this way you will continue the process and this will end up with this red line thing so again you guys can do uh, by changing the position so it will be like this or you can also write it down like the uh, right hand grip rule can also be used to right hand grip rule can also be used to find out the direction of the magnetic field so this is what you have to do it in this scenario so these red lines will be the directions of the magnetic field line this is what you have to do in this question state what else student can deduce about the magnetic field in this investigation so what he can find out again the direction of the magnetic field this is what i have told you direction of the magnetic field then is current carrying conductor has a magnetic field this is also you can write it down carrying current carrying conductor has magnetic field that's it thank you very much take care